Hey everybody and welcome to G4G on YouTube. It is Napalm Dawn and today we're going to do an unplanned video that I was at work today and I was over on the old Marvel Avengers Alliance wiki forums and I came across a post that made me decide to change things up a little bit and um, actually do a video over on this. So what is this video? Well, as you can see from the title, it is the dark side of the Marvel Avengers Alliance Reborn. Well, I shouldn't say Reborn because that's what it was at the time. I will just call it the dark side of the Marvel Avengers Alliance remakes. So as you know, the current remake that we're all operating under is Marvel Avengers Alliance Redux or M-A-A-R Mar. That is what Goofy is currently calling it, and that has been the name now for several years. However, what you may or may not know is that there were several attempts to reboot the game before Goofy got a hold of it. Now, I will say I will go ahead and get this out of the way now. A large part of the progress as to where we are now is owed to a original community member by the name of Chris Cassay, who I think was Agent Raygun, but um, he was doing a lot of brokering of information and data and files at the time, also trying to contact people for help with this, seeing how legitimate would it be if we brought this game out of the dirt and everything. So a lot of work um, dates back to um, all of the headway that Chris K did. He's largely been out of the community for a while but i think he's recently starting to um get back in but just know that a lot of the work is due to his the fruits of his labor um way back in the beginning so let's go ahead and get into it so one of the first things we need to talk about is maa reborn not to be confused with redux maa reborn was being mentioned um eight months after the game had originally died and this one was really kind of scaring people because one of the main backers of the reborn project was a russian guy and as anybody with any web savvy knows when you see things coming out of russia or poland or China on the web, you generally should immediately be cautious. Certain countries do not have the types of security on websites that the states and many other countries have. So when you see uh, a lot of websites that end in .ru or CZ or similar ones, it's, it's sort of the wild, wild west. So when you see things like donationalerts.ru, you immediately kind of think of the Nigerian Prince scams or the hello, this is Microsoft, your computer are not work well kind of stuff. So that immediately got a lot of people's hackles up. But here is this post back on the wiki at the time by a username, Huivlitso. I'm just going to call him Huivy. So Quivy says, hi there, TJ. So here's the message I want to share with you. He, he goes on later to say it's a copy paste, which is why it's addressed to this quote unquote TJ and not Quivy. But hello to everyone who is not indifferent to the Marvel Avengers Alliance. I want to please you with good news. The Marvel Avengers Alliance Reborn project is launched. I'm a regular fan of this game, the same as you. And after I found out in August of last year, the game is being closed, I was very upset. The English isn't too bad. It's got a slight smattering of it, but it's not certainly not the worst I've seen. I've seen games with worse, uh, worse English than this. So this paragraph in and of itself isn't too scary. Well, upset is poorly said. Until now, I could not accept such a loss. For me, this game has become like a drug, just like many of you. And now I decided to seriously take up the revival of this wonderful application. For a long time, I was looking for all the material on this game. At the moment, there is all the material for a complete restoration of the application. Pause. We know that's bullshit. Um, we didn't know this then. 
we know it now because as Goofy is routinely stated, there are several, quite a decent amount of XML files that are missing that are the XML, XML files of the first several spec ops and they have yet to turn up. So to say that all the material is there likely is not true. So unpause. I hired two programmers to restore the application. The only not closed issue is money. So like what, what is not closed? That phrasing right there isn't the most proper of English phrases. So that, that's a little bit of a red flag there. The initial payment for a month and a half of work is $1,500. I wanted to pay for everything. Also, the dollar sign is after the amount, not before. A little bit of a red flag. I wanted to pay for everything myself, but I can cover only the cost of the server. I believe that such a sum for such a large community is not a difficult task. If each of us at least donates a dollar to rebuild our favorite browser game. So now they have the dollar sign in front. The result will not be long in coming. Of course, this will not be an official revival of the application. Duh. In this case, there may be certain difficulties. I will upload the video on YouTube channel as new news arrives. English, English there. I believe that everything is in our hands, but I cannot cope without your help. Again, a little bit of English. Only by joining forces we can achieve the result. English. Send your money to donation alerts, RU, HVML, HVL, PayPal.me, which I don't know if PayPal ever had a .me extension. Um, MAA, Reborn, Web Money, USD, blah, 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 blah. For contact and cooperation, email this huivi at mail.com. The message will be shared on Reddit forums, MAA wiki, VK.com groups, which, what the fuck is a VK.com? Okay, maybe chat app. Not familiar with it. And Facebook groups. For now, I'm negotiating with capital N, weird, with moderators. What do you think of that? Will you help me resurrect this amazing game? May you spread this message across community of this game. The English is now getting worse. Please let me know what you think. Peace. Iron Frank, a well-known... Uh, well, actually, we got to do view older replies. Um, this is just a link to let it go. Who's TJ? What is he doing with our dead wiki? Um, somebody links to G TJ Hooker. Well, no official resurrection. Meh. Uh, it looks fake, especially considering uh, what means Topic Starter's nickname in Russian. Oh, I guess they're trying to say... Aha! Uh -huh. Well, okay. Let's try this. Do, 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 do. Set it to... You'll notice Portuguese is the first language that comes up there when I go to Google Translate. It's because of all the comments that I have to translate on my own channel. Um... Huiv Litso. Huiv Litso. <laughs> it says <laughs> chubby in Greek. Let's see if we can find Russian. No. It doesn't seem to translate from Russian, so that person might not exactly be correct, but just simply chubby <laughs> in Greek. I'm still going to call him Queevy. No, let's call him Chubby. Okay. So we're now officially going to call this guy Chubby. Um, Cyrus Annihilator, well-known sprite artist within the community, says, I do not recommend giving this guy any money without proof. Chubby, if you're really capable of doing a fan-made version, show us. So show me the money, yells Tom Cruise. Um... Press X to doubt. Back to DC Legends. Iron Frank is going back to his iPhone 4S, which was really, 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 really fucking old, even for 2017. Um, Chubby says, sorry, it was copy-paste from one of the developers of The Play Dom. Here is the Reddit. Check this out for more information about MA Reborn. Um, we, will, we will come back to this, because I already have this saved in another tab. Here he responds saying, why should I get bothered by creating this thread on dead wiki? I'm working on this project for months already. It's too hard to find good programmers for ActionScript 3.0. That sounds a little bit like potentially he is doing something. Goofy could confirm about ActionScript, but I do believe he said the original does work 
in action script. So he may be onto something here. Here he responds to Cyrus and says, I apologize for such brazen extortion, but I was desperate when posting all this. All programmers who are able to do it ask for pay. Check this thread as there'll be pre-alpha gameplay soon. Narrator, but there never was. For more information, PM me on Reddit if you have experience in ActionScript 3.0, Java, Flex, SQL, and Flash. Now, ActionScript and Flash, we ca can confirm from Goofy that it's in place. Java, Flex, and SQL, Goofy would have to name weigh in on that, but I have not heard him mention these. Now, Java could come into play if he was trying to host it on the web, similar to the way it was hosted by Playdom on Facebook. But, yeah, he maybe has two out of five correct over here. Licentia says, I think it's a scam. Chubby responds with, uh, the feeling when the entire game is on Flash, you can do everything you want with it. For example, simply redraw any sprites and simply rename all the stuff. That feeling when you borrow only the mechanics of the game, which are programmed, feels good, man. He's getting a little meme -y over there. Kim Jo, who I definitely remember, says a lawsuit is coming. And then somebody finally says, is there any news on it? If you follow the links and go over to Reddit and go take a look at Chubby, right over here, it, you can see the last time he commented was back in 2019. And this does not sound like a fun person. I'm not, I'll just leave this on the screen. I'm not saying any of those words. You can just maybe, listen, in 2019, to use any of these words over here, that really shows the, the person that you are. I mean, I, I can go back to 2001, 2002, back in the days of Unreal Tournament, when the web was a little more Wild West, and especially uh, with gaming. Even then, this was bad. So in 2019, mm -mm, not a good person. Um, he, and here he is starting a fight with this guy, Milnior, uh, Milnair and just doesn't seem like a particularly fun guy however at one point we can see here that he started posting four years ago he started posting in the bugs thread so he definitely at one point made it over to knowing about the current project the one that goofy is working on redux because he's he's posted a lot of bugs actually um, Darkest Dungeon Hacks talks over here. Darkest Dungeon PS Vita Hack. That's not necessary. That, that's not bad. Um, plenty of people hack games locally when there is no competition. Um, here he is saying uh, in reference to Injustice 2, PS, I've jailbreaked... I'm going to say it that way, but it's... I've jailbreaked your consonole, which is... Now get all your exclusive for free. Yeah, boy, you can feel it right in your anus. Fucking Sosnoni. Sosni. So here is a post he made about MAA Reborn, which was his project as he was talking about at the time. God damn it, why won't you just hire a fucking team of programmers on some freelance site? I've been monitoring for half of a year for now this stuff. There are a lot of great programmers who can restore this game using ripped client files of the game. They're asking four to five K for this shit. For community like MAA, this price is fucking nothing. You could just be sitting here crying like bitches, fucking embarrassing. Just let some modder or admin of MAA Reddit to create a Kickstarter or donut. Donut some shit. Please who donate the most to the get to the game of the VIP stuff of the agents of the heroes of the PVPs. But the normal users get monthly payments like wow so he's talking about straight up monetization clearly any fan of redux at this very second in time knows how fucking awful this post sounds to just talk about subscriptions and money and vip stuff and monetization of the game over again i can hear through the internet a whole bunch of ani just puckering instantly and goofy if he watches this video is is just probably going to sit there and blink like he just got chili sauce in his eyes um just reading how bad 
this is paid bundles people who begin the new game i've tried to reach out to the russian community on vk and english community here and other resources but nobody listened to me i'm tired of writing competently and without arguing there are big latino communities that's true unite with them or something if you're worried about marvel and disney rights he's fucking tour or something he's talking about torrenting it programmers need about a thousand to start on the work so much for a big loving community i cry from the heart well obviously uh, goofy will show you that no you don't need a thousand bucks and apparently i responded to this guy five years ago um um, not much of a conspiracy theorist, but I do wonder how this guy, this one guy, managed to get enough of the code to rebuild the game. Goofy, I'm sorry. <laughs> because you do fit this bill, and, and here I was going, yeah, I kind of don't believe that. Which, so I, I have to eat my words, but in reference to this guy, I'm not eating my words, but in reference to the fact that a human like this exists, I'm eating my words. It happens we're all human lots of people have proven they have the assets of the original game sprite animations ui etc but nobody's ever proven they have enough of the background code i do seriously wonder how the dev managed to get the one thing nobody has really come up with sorry goofy again i know that's different for you um it's not the programming that's the problem, dude. Do you have any idea what a big-ass lawsuit you get from both Marvel? Well, no, the programming is a problem. This thing was a consideration, too, especially back then. If it takes in money, the project is legal. Thank you, whoever you were who responded and said this. Yes, um, absolutely. If it takes in money, the project is very illegal. If it doesn't take in money, fan games are 100% legal. Sorry, Nintendo fanboys. They're 100% in the wrong for going after freeware fan games. This is in relation to another Metroid 2 remake. It's actually illegal what they're doing, but they're fighting a gigantic multi-billion dollar company. That's debatable. You need somebody who's well-versed in IP law to talk about that. Dude mentioned money several times. Do you seriously think people would play it again? Oh, yes. This guy's eating his words. Yes, there's a lot of people who would play it again um people would play it again if it was made with the same quality believable yes there is the am2r remake discussion i said successful not better as a programmer myself i'm trying to remake the game on unity it won't be as polished as the original one i know it's a waste of time but still i fucking miss the game actually building some characters i have basic combat system with one attack the main issue is graphics some models are made in action script too and I can't import them on Unity with a GAF converter. Again, Goofy and Bridget Rocks and other people who've been di doing animations could talk about this, but look what gets linked over here. A unlisted video of White Tiger doing some animations. It's hard to... I mean, this, this could be completely fake. This could just be an animated um, toolbar that is there where he's just animating a mouse over and then animating white tiger we don't know but this is a unlisted video by this guy antoine three and it's got about 518 views somebody supposedly commented on it but it's not here so this guy boy would we like to dig up a n to a n e let's see when he was last active on reddit 24 days ago and he plays marvel strike force and he's commenting to see him cerebro so maybe we can dig this guy up and maybe this is a person who doesn't know where goofy is currently on the project and maybe could assist goofy um so i would like to help you we're both excited no response came in saviors more on that in a moment I have nothing to share right now. The video is done in GUI, no script invoked. How does it work? I'm particularly new to Unity. I don't know the difference. I said there is a Discord that sprung up around multiverse savers. If you had animation skills, come to that Discord. So it's possible this guy may be still around. Here's Chubby again. There are a lot of different ways to avoid that shit. You can change the sprites, rename stuff. This is something we did talk about. We were planned to rename 
um, the characters like Iron Man was like Ferris dude, Captain America could have been Commander States, uh, Black Widow could have been Gray Spider, you know, and then the guy whose video that you just saw, A N two A N E, said it won't be M A A. The dev who claimed to be working on reviving MAA has mentioned he would release the source code with tips on how to get the game back to what you knew. So essentially, you could download it with names like Man of Iron and Major USA. <laughs> America, fuck yeah. But you can edit the code and flip it back. This may be a reference to Goofy at this point. I can't really tell. Um, so there was that post over there. Uh, let's go back and see... Some of his originals. Uh, it's not the programming. Blah blah blah. Do not up. Your, all right, that's this one. Yeah, this is. So this is the original post he made about it, where comments were like, "This seems like a Nigerian print scam. Feels bad. Cease and desist. Seems legit. Sarcasm. Uh, seems like this would be better for ki- uh, scams like this one work better on Kickstarter." Here's a positive one and shut up and take my money. I don't know if it's a scam. Have you tried collaborating with somebody who could start a Kickstarter? He's like, I didn't. I don't even know where to start from. Uh, I found a new programmer for this project. There will be a pre-alpha release soon. Don't know who that was. I found some anti-fraud insurance or I would like it. Um, I'm more worried about the veracity of the programmers you're intending to hire. So this guy's saying the OP seems okay. But what about the programmers? The first programmer I talked to said he was able to restore this app fully by a month and a half. <laughs> I, can, oh, I can hear Goofy laughing through the internet on that one. But then the problem was in the money. He asked for $1,000 for this work, and then I've created threads all over the place to ask for help from the community. In the interest, you should disclose the list of how much you raised and the time limit. The people is people want to donate until... I show them alpha beta clients. I'm still negotiating with programmers. Uh, I think programmers could have actually put up a proof of concept to get money if it was legit. Goofy put up um, proof of concept videos in the beginning. Uh, When did you and your developers decompile the files? I've been decompiling files several times a day, dude. I think you don't even know what you're talking about. I kind of think you don't, Chubby. Even if this is legit, Disney would hit him with a cease and desist. Cease and desist. How will you get the files of the game? It's out of Facebook and any other site. Do you have a solution? Of course I have. If you read closely the text, you can find words about hiring a programmer who already decompiled all the files and analyzed them. I would have loved to have seen proof of that. And let's see. So, and this was an interesting thing. This is another reason why I'm not too fond of Chubby. This thread was about when Facebook released that Games Arcade app that you can install on Windows and play Facebook games directly in that app instead of going to the browser. And his question in there, can anybody hack it? That really tells me all I needed to know about Chubby over here. There's people in that thread asking like, oh, can you run leet hacks and stuff like that? Um, why are you people still here? Let's see. Oh, yeah, the Deadpool end credits. Um, didn't you hear? A guy with a 10 month old account, no karma, and four posts said he'll restore the game fully if we give him money. So that's a shot at Chubby, the Nigerian print stuff. Um, really, really bagging on chubby over there he's like well at least i'm doing something and he's like yeah you offered zero evidence uh let's see if anybody talks about any new stuff over here playing spot the maa art okay so that was the first one which was maa reborn there was another one by a guy named Gaming Life Beginner. And you can tell it is a different person because Gaming Life Beginner's account is deleted, whereas Chubby's is still around. 
Hi everyone, I don't know how to put this in words that everybody would understand, but here it goes. We're currently having a financial crisis and I'm going nowhere from freelancing, so I'm going to have to look for a stable job. It's no exaggeration, I'm the only one in my family of seven who works. I'm going to have to put the project on hold. Um, I appreciate all the effort. So Ram Vignesh did go on to DC Games. He actually gave me admin control of several <laughs> gaming-related Facebook um, pages because he's backed out of almost everything now. Um, Natalie Rath, who I remember was in the Savers Discord back in the beginning. See, Gaming Life Beginner, we would love to help. There's people offering help and everything over here. People want to donate. Hope your financial situation improves. There's Dio. Damn dude, financial crisis is no joke. Um... Can you send this is when the begging started can you send us what you have so far and that is where god look at all this maximus just kind of went crazy for a while it was like dude give us the game give us the game give us the game have an update give us the game give us the game give us the game red fred did it i i remember this guy red fred for a while um what's what's it doing what's it even i did it one time um, because I had a little bit of an in with the dude. We, we talked a little bit, but it's not close to the relationship that I have of any of the team um, right now. Uh, so this is the original, or I should say the second one, which was Saviors of the Multiverse. Now, where we are now takes quite a bit from this saviors in the multiverse a lot of the concepts that were talked about in some did come over to mar um and we we took over a lot of the spaces that some was in and then goofy made it his own by turning it into redux and stopping it from being some but here is some of the information that was around at the time so five years ago back in 2017 the game will be offline. It'll be released around Thanksgiving or Christmas. No, it won't. <laughs> that came and went, and then it was the new year, and then it was when the Avengers movie was coming out in 2018. Um, season 3, I'm not too, too sure about. All Spec Ops will be present, and it's not going to be timely event. All Spec Ops heroes will be there. PvP characters might be there for 200 CP. There's going to be a rebalance. Uh, for example, Doctor Strange will be 90. PvP will come with an update after release with fake AI characters. So you can see a lot of these concepts are still being used today. Yes, it's offline. He's not earning any profit. Yes, he can add a character. He said himself he would need some sort of artist to design uniforms and everything. He's going to give us the source code so we can mod it ourselves. It's funny. You could read this stuff out of context in a vacuum and be like, wow, that sounds like they're describing Goofy, but they're not. They're describing GLB. Um, here's a guy talking about, I would love to see Clea, who is rumored to have been in the Doctor Strange spec ops. Balder, Tyr, Gwenpool, who Goofy hates. Uh, he hates combo characters. Wiccan... Gladiator, Century Silver Surfer, Negasonic, Teenage Warhead, Iron Spider, Inferno, Namor, Inhumans, Yondu Scar, a couple others. Um, Spider Gwen, yep. Woo, excited, how soon? Um, yes, thank you. When is it going to be? MAA Game Improvement Survey. There's a link over there to some stuff. How will the heroes be named? Will Iron Man still be Iron Man because of copyright stuff? Very good question. At the time, what do you mean offline version? No servers. Um, legend will never die. Now I can post without being banned. I'm not too sure what happened to this dude. Dio says he's crying right now. I think I vaguely remember MAA player. Um... So this thread was was kind of the beginning of it all. This is when GLB really had a lot of people hyped up. And you can see how people respond to him differently when all he had was just a picture. He just made a picture and people responding differently because he wasn't asking for money. He was just saying he was going to do it. And I mean, you can see this thread is going really, really far here. This was a lot of hype at the time. But needless to say, much like 
Marvel Avengers Alliance Re Reborn, this never went anywhere. And the guy disappeared for long periods of time. He was uh, saying that he was often stealing a neighbor's Wi-Fi because he, he couldn't get it on his own. And then, of course, came the big update. So, hey, guys, Gaming Life Beginner here. Sorry if I don't post images or videos of the game's previews. Still under development, but it's no bamboozle. I won't be able to visit Reddit as often now because their neighbor just changed their Wi-Fi password. I don't have internet. Um, and, you know, people were still positive about it until uh, really it just was kind of apparent that... Um, I wasn't going to go anywhere. So there is the dark and sordid rabbit hole history of the original attempts to rebirth Marvel Avengers Alliance. This here, um, photos from Maximo's post in Savers of the Multiverse. This was on the Savers of the Multiverse Facebook group. You can see Twig was still there and I've skipped around the video a little bit and we can see some other names so there's agent uh ray gun or chris cassay um a lot of posts there we had a lot of uh one thing that was really good about those early days is we had a lot of um surveys and everything and here boy this is so different from my discord now at the time i was only in my own nerve based discord for my alliance and my clan and everything like that but here you can see Goofy was present at the time of Multiverse of Saviors. And he actually credits the attempt at Psalm for getting where he is now. Because he realized, you know what? Maybe I can search around and maybe I can do this. And I believe with Chris Cassay's help, uh, he did. And this is what animation cells are look like. This is what the animators are working with. Um, this is what I mentioned, like the Pinocchio effect that these are all the moving parts in a sprite. Um, so you, you can see just how much this early period was, was very necessary to get to where we are now. And if we didn't have these roots, oh God, this game, what was the name of this game? I've been trying to think of the name of this game. TM Amazing. So this game had all these fat Avengers ripoffs. So, okay, let <laughs> let's take a look at the names. Uh, we'll, we'll Tiny Mighty Heroes United. I wonder if this is still around. It probably isn't. This game ripped off Marvel so bad, and it renamed the characters in a way that we were maybe considering of having to rename the characters to. Um, Mind Reader, Ice Witch. Which, now, remember, Emma Frost had nothing to do with ice. She was all mental. Uh, so Ice Witch is really a misnomer. Ice Witch, Hurricane. Icicle. <laughs> Look at that fat Bobby Drake. That's chubby. That, that's chubby for you. Sword for Blade. Oh, my God, that's so bad. Electroshock. Winter Warrior. <laughs> Poison instead of Venom. Dead Man. Oh, God. Maroon Witch. Now, that's really bad. That's Maroon Witch instead of Scarlet Witch. Boy, that's really on the nose. Genie Gray. Metal Mask. Metal Mask. Grout instead of Groot. I mean, no. Grout is a word. It has nothing to do with trees. It, okay. En enough of that. That's probably what I was saying at that point. Dark Shadow instead of Black Bolt. That one, they're not even close. Like, that is a reasonable rename for the character. I can get behind Black Bolt being Dark Shadow. Black Spider, that's really bad. I mean, that's hot. What? Wait a minute. If that was Hothead, who was dead? Okay. Cat Lady instead of Kitty Pride. God. This is this just so laughable. Miss Buzz instead of Wasp. Rabid Raccoon. <laughs> Sabertooth. Sabertooth is just Sabertooth. How fucking funny is that? They didn't even bother to rename him. 
wolfy instead of wolverine again you've gone from a badger like creature to a wolf miss marvelous instead of miss marvel who looks like she's truly not wearing anything from the waist down flash man thorn instead of thor not even close thorn could have been groot i think thorn would have been a better name for groot um so yeah there is the dark history of the marvel avengers alliance remakes if this video made you laugh please give a like and subscribe if this video made you laugh go into discord and give goofy a hug for being a not crazy actual real fucking human being who isn't calling people all kinds of racist names on the internet and isn't promising things that he can't deliver just you guys have no idea what it's like to be here in the now with the redux project instead of back then because when i tell you we used to code uphill both ways in the snow in the negative 20 degree temperatures you can see how very very true that is so uh yeah give goofy a pat on the back give him a hug send him a cup of coffee well no actually don't do that 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 could be bad um virtually send him a cup of coffee and just enjoy the work that he's doing and be really really happy goofy exists as a human being instead of people <laughs> like gaming life beginner and um chubby over there so hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you guys later